It is a beautiful Thursday evening here in Norman, Oklahoma at Love's Field. You're in Sooner Vision as the Oklahoma Sooners are set to take on the BYU Cougars. This is the O2 just misses outside <laughs> and a great location from Kelly Maxwell. She's set to deliver the one, two and swing and a miss in the dirt. Hansen. Fire down for the first out of the inning, and that is a huge strikeout for Kelly Maxwell to set the tone here in the first. Yeah, such a... But they are a pretty explosive and powerful offense. Ground ball to the left side, and Jennings takes care of it, and it's two up, two down. Guy, so has some pop in the middle of this Cougar lineup. Swing and a miss. And Maxwell sits the Cougars down in order to uh, mix, mix of speeds. Temple set to face Jada Coleman as first pitch. Hits her in the ankle and Coleman is aboard here in the bottom of the first inning. And the one, two to Coleman. Lined into center field. And it's a leadoff single for Jada Coleman to start the ball game. As Jennings takes the first pitch she sees, could be two. And Coleman evaded the tag, but was then forced out at second base. And good heads up play by Kayla Kumoko. Did not put up another run as that game progressed. And the three, two to Brito off speed and she swings straight through it for the switches. She attacks them, but she can also lay off of the ones that take her out of the zone. And a four pitch walk will move Tiare Jennings into scoring position. 2-2. Two, two. Struck well and it's going to be caught in center field by Violet Zvodnik. Uh, the, the offense is able to really produce some runs. It's just a matter of the free passes and the defensive errors. Jennings scoops it up to take care of Ava for the first out of the second to bring up four home runs on the season, 30 RBI, and we've set it through and through. So this one is lifted to the right side. Torres is underneath it, and she will take care of it for out number two, and it's a one-two line right at Jennings, and that will do it. Side is retired. We're scoreless as we head to the bottom of the second inning. This is sooner. The bat cooled a little bit early in Big 12. And the 3-2 catches the outside corner for called strike three and great eye. The 2-2 is grounded. And third baseman, Matty Udall will take care of it for the second out of the inning. A 3-1 to Torres, just misses low, and second inning in a row for Chloe Temples to get 443 in Big 12 play, which is good for fourth in the conference. And this is laced into left center field. Torres is going to round second, and she will slide safely into third, and it is a two-out double for Riley Boone. And just like that, the Sooners have got a pair in scoring position for Jada Coleman. As the 1-0 is struck well to left field at the wall, and it's going to get out of here. Jada Coleman with one swing of the bat makes it three nothing Sooners. Just an excellent piece of hitting. You see that ball in the outside corner. You see Jada Coleman just let it travel deep enough. She really gets her backside into it, sending it directly over that left field fence. That home run is brought to you by Oklahoma Oil and Natural Gas. Second two out walk in the inning delivered by BYU Pitching brings up Alyssa Brito. Takes the first pitch she sees. It's going to ricochet and not in time. And that will be a two out single. The 3 1 lifted to center field. Zavodnik is underneath it. 
And that will do it, but not before the Sooners strike. And one, two, as Brito spins and fires, and Sydney Sanders retrieves the errant throw to make the play. Nobody on and one out. As Maxwell fires the 2-2 and swing and a miss. The third strikeout in the ball game for Kelly. Hitting 333 on the year. And this is hit well to the right side, but Pickering is gonna glove it. And for the third straight inning, Maxwell. Now Thursday night games, the attendance is unbelievable. And Kinsey Hansen gonna try to make her way down the line, but Agbayani takes care of Hansen. Shout out to the field crew because it looks artificial in the outfield. I mean, it looks beautiful. And this is struck well in the left center field gap and Alina Torres, excuse me, Cassidy Pickering adds a run to the board with one swing of the bat and the freshman getting back into the swing of things to make it four nothing Sooners here in the bomb destiny. I just love watching Cassidy Pickering just make contact. It's so solid. Her hands are so quick to contact. And as always, that home run's brought to you by Oklahoma Oil and Natural Gas. And that is Pickering's fifth home run on the season. Three, two, misses low, and another walk issued by BYU pitching. And kind of got the rally started. Bland takes off first pitch, and the throws got her at second base. And Haley came in out of the bullpen. 2 1. Misses a bit low, and <laughs> Torres is aboard for her second. 1-1 one, one to Boone is popped up to center field. And Zavadinka will take care of it. And BYU walks or works around a two-out walk. Setting the tone in this game. It's the one-two is gonna stay fair, and Sydney Sanders will take it herself for the first out here. The senior grounded out to short in her first at bat, and ground ball to short again. Jennings will take care of it. Two quick outs for Max. Really well. I mean, she's seen three hitters at a time. We can, if she can put Violet Zavodnik away. And she'll do it. The pop up will take us to the bottom of the fourth. Seen that average up to 460. And a little bit of a check swing, and it's going to be a foot race as Jada Coleman is retired for the first time here tonight. Ended twice. Ground ball. Agbayani takes care of it and two quick outs for Kate Daly and BYU. Nobody on two outs and a full count. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. And Kate Daly is pumped up. Total home solution for plumbing, heating, air conditioning, and electrical. Make the winning call today as Hunter Ava comes out swinging well. So one, two is gonna get through and Owens puts up the first hit for BYU. The one, two little check swing. They're gonna see if she went and she did indeed. And Kelly Maxwell follow something we've seen more this season than any other year. The 2-2 two -two upstairs and Owens will take off. And that'll be a stolen base as she is into scoring position. In position and pretty good jump by Owens. Really good jump. And the 3-2 will issue the walk to Komoku and BYU. Now with a walk 
to Udall. And the 2-2 tomorrow. And Maxwell continues to dominate as she's done on top four to nothing. I'm DJ Sanchez along with Dusty McElroy. And Kate Daly back to work as Parker laces the first pitch she sees right back up the middle and one pitch, one hit for the Sooners here in the fifth. Pitching staff being a little bit depleted as that's gonna fall in front of Zavodnik and it's back-to-back -back singles. Hitters off balance and not let them settle in. That pitch is laced. Here comes Ella Parker around third. She will score easily. Ludlum will stand up at third base and it's an RBI single for Pickering to make it five nothing Sooners. First and third goes. Court takes off with the pitch. It's gonna be cut and Court will move into scoring position easily. And this is hit well in speaking of getting hot, Sydney Sanders just ends a ball game. Here in the fifth with a three run shot. To make it eight nothing Sooners and a walk off run rule victory. And look at the grin from Sydney Sanders. And Sid Sanders needing a little bit of momentum like none other. Just absolutely hammering. And what a pitch to hit. That's definitely a miss for Chloe Temples to leave that ball belt high. Sydney Sanders making her pay. That home run is brought to you by Oklahoma Oil and Natural Gas.